Good evening guys and welcome back to World of Tanks and we won't be staying on World of Tanks, not too long anyway. I am launching uh, my first video in a series as it says up top, Jaeger Plays. It's basically just going to be me playing games in World of Tanks, Armored Warfare, World of Warships, or even Star Wars Battlefront 2 just to kind of keep creating videos and to relax a little bit in between reviews and doing other stuff like that just me playing so if you don't want to see me playing games or doing anything like that you can stop the video here this is just the intro so don't worry about it but if it sounds like something interesting to you it's just gonna be me playing full-length games and then talking about them just that sort of thing no nothing special so stay tuned if you want you don't have to I don't really know what vehicles I'm gonna play yet but uh, I'll let you know it's probably just gonna be four games I think because that's gonna be quite a lot of time so these videos are gonna be pretty long so I'm just gonna do four games that's it cut it off at that and then yeah that'll be the video so if that sounds interesting to you please start please keep watching thank you so much for tuning in really love the support and let's get stuck into some gameplay all right mid tier in oh please don't do that guy come on oh wait no he's right I gotta go over here mid tier in the king tiger captured um, actually, I don't really want to face any of these heavy tanks down this alley. I'd rather go out in the open, but I got two heavies going that way, so if I don't go this way, my canavern will be alone. Anyway, first thing I want to get to today, even though I don't really give out my game tag for World of Tanks, I've been doing World of Tanks for a long time, and so the name in the game here is based off my actual name and real world stuff, whereas Jaeger 262 comes from something else, and the reason I'm bringing this up is because one of my viewers uh, met a guy in World of Tanks on the NA server, which again is the only server that I play on, um, and who was saying he was me and he was making videos and doing stuff, one, to that guy, don't do that, but also awesome, that's cool enough that... <laughs> somebody thinks I'm um, making enough videos to be famous enough to get copied cool uh, two my name is not Jaeger 262 if you couldn't gather that um, in World of Tanks it's not my name here um, I have started using that name later when I was just looking for something to kinda use for my modeling videos, my Instagram, my Armored Warfare videos. So I am Jaeger262 in Armored Warfare if anybody wants to come and find me there and play with me there. Um, and also here, because uh, this other viewer wanted to find me to, you know, hang out in the game and do stuff. That's awesome. I love that. Go ahead. Just know that's not my name here. Jaeger262 is actually just a, a funny little name I came up with from the German word. Jaeger, which means hunter, because in Armored Warfare, um, at least I was. <laughs> I was, I'm no longer anymore. I was a Unicum in Armored Warfare. I was incredibly good at that game, an incredibly lethal tanker, and so I was like, uh, Jaeger, hunter. And 262 comes from uh, the numerical value of my favorite aircraft, the Measuresmith 262, which is, um, as many of you probably know, the first combat capable jet. Wow, I did not expect to not take any damage, so nice. Uh, first combat capable jet, also German. Love that plane, so that's it. Just Jaeger yeah, 262. Cool name, fun name. Not much of a story with that one. But just know it's not my name. The point of this <laughs> wasn't to give you that history, just not my name here. So there is a Jaeger 262 you're finding here not me. Um, and speaking of being a Unicom and people watching my videos because as you can see now I'm not a Unicom and I don't play crazy good. Um, that as this one viewer he actually did find me in World of Tanks was looking at my stats. As he found out I have played a lot of games. I've been here like I said six years very long time and uh yeah have almost 14,000 battles and usually a threshold people go for before they start like really looking at stats and thinking oh man maybe this guy's good maybe he's not is 10,000 so um 
I'm a little bit beyond that, and I'm 46% overall win rate, which is, as you know, very low, and from the video I was talking about of stat shaming, I get hit a lot with, you know, that I'm still a tomato, because I do misplays like that. And, you know, I overextend myself and I mess up, just like everybody else, but, yeah, I don't let it get to me because, again, like I said in that video, I'm just here to have fun. Man, these things, the super piercing is hard as hell to penetrate. Frontally. That one's not. <laughs> um, wow, and he's firing gold. <laughs> what a loser. This guy's a loser. To get through my hull. <laughs> what a bitch. Sorry. Sorry, I mean to say bitch. And I said it twice. Um, but yeah, I just do this for fun. Even though I'm not having as much fun as I could be now, because... For some reason, a tier 8 premium medium tank feels the need to fire gold when he's top tier. And you're going to encounter guys like that. So to the great hunter, you're a terrible person. <laughs> you're going to encounter people like that wherever you go. But he did kill me with normal AP rounds. So no harm, no foul. But because of this, like I'm having a good time right now. I'm enjoying it. I don't know if you guys had a good time watching me die like that. Maybe you did. But I don't play this to be super competitive, so yeah, I'm not great, even though I have a lot of battles. Don't worry about it. That's what I was trying to tell you in the video yesterday. Don't worry too much about it. That's just how it goes, you know? You win some, you lose some. I'm going to exit out of this game, get into the next one. Alrighty. Yeah, sorry about that. No matter how many times I play the King Tiger Captured, it plays, and I try to play it like the Tiger one, it has... Even though the gun values are exactly the same, I can't penetrate like I do with my Tiger 1, I can't snipe like I do with my Tiger 1, I can't repel damage the same way as I do with my Tiger 1, but that 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 one's actually on the positive. Because the King Tiger captured has crazy good armor. Love that. Love it. Um, but boy, I hate that tank. I hate playing it. It's not fun. So for anybody who feels like they really missed out, and a lot of people were talking about it, like, oh, we missed out on a really good premium. You didn't. You missed out on an overly average premium. That is exactly what I think a Twitch Prime reward should be. Just not a good tank, but a very interesting one. Like, I'll play that tank until they remove it from the game files. I will play it a hundred times a day, every day, because again, it's fun for me. That's my thing. I can't do a lot in it. It's not a very strong heavy, but it's fun. It looks so cool, um, and it feels like a real proper King Tiger. So, I'll always play that tank. Love it. And I don't mean to, like, I know I just said, don't worry about it if you didn't get it, but I'm also rubbing in your face that I have, and I love it, but... It's true, I do enjoy it. That would be a ricochet. Oh, uh, that would go straight through my mantlet. Of course. Nope, it didn't go through my mantlet. It hit... How lucky of him to hit just below that, but mine ricochets straight off the top of his tank. That's... Crazy good luck. That's my luck. Poor AR all 44 is gonna get shredded. Yeah, because we're not equipped to fight any of these vehicles, even even with the crazy 17 pounder I have right now. I don't think I can do anything against the Lanson. Like that's a that's a hope and a half. All right, nice. Finally, some good luck. Now this is a premium tank that I have a okay win rate in. I have the average win rate of 50% in this tank. 55%. That would make me an average player in the Firefly. And as you can see, that's accurate. I am pretty average. Wow, what? How did he do that? Where did that even hit me? Wow, look at that through the helmet. Amazing. But yeah, as you can see, pretty average in it. But it is a... It is a tank that I absolutely adore. I love this tank. And I really wish we could get better matchups than this. But this isn't that bad. Like, I always say, I wish I could get better matchups. Because in my other videos, I usually show you my top tier videos. Obviously. I don't know why I said videos twice. But I show you my top tier games, basically. Because top tier is awesome. You want to be in top tier. You don't want to be here like this. But, that being said, since I'm just doing this kind of live with commentary, you know, whatever. Wow, 
Wow, got him. See, that's why I like this tank. You can just wing shots into people. Got a kill on the Yog Tiger 88. Nice, that makes me feel good. And we spotted that guy to death. That makes me feel even better. And the Leo is about to die. So, all around, great. <laughs> good. Although the heavies are pushing us pretty hard. And the Leo's dead. Woohoo! If I could avoid the lance and gun for a little bit, that'd be nice. I hope he can't see me. I have no idea where he is. I'll let the 50 TP deal with him. See, this is... Oh, wow. Let me ping back here for a second. Yeah, okay, the T-34-100 is on it. This is the importance of... <laughs> watching the map. Hopefully I don't get killed for treating. He won't hit us now. He's moving into the middle. There's not much I can do against those heavy tanks, but I'm going to try to do my best. I'm trying to help you, T-34, I promise. Oh, jeez. Can I get there in time? I can't. I'm very slow. Yeah, this thing is still a Sherman, so it's not the most mobile vehicle on the planet Earth. Come on. This time it has a... Mini what kind of... It still has a car engine in it, but this time it's a British-made engine because this is a British-licensed Sherman. So the first Fireflies were actually just American Shermans that were, like, repurposed and, you know, given 17-pounders. They pushed the radio in the back, turned the gun sideways, do all that kind of stuff. But I believe that the later war Sherman Fireflies are actually just licensed to be built in England, so it, has a, it doesn't have the Chrysler engine in it. Can I please just get around this ridge in time? No, I literally cannot. I was too slow. This is a loss. Ricocheted off the OI. But the game's over. That's a bad defeat. And I felt so good with that Yag Tiger, but nope. Oh well. <laughs> Not great at this. And I'm having. Like I said, the King Tiger Captured is one of my favorite novelty vehicles, absolutely, off the bat. Love it. I absolutely hate playing it. Like, I hate being in this heavy tank. It is just terrible at its job. It might be a good medium, but it's bad at everything else. But look at it. So again, I do this to have fun, that's why I play these games. So yeah, I'm not great, but... I mean, if you're watching the video this far, then you must find something entertaining about the way that I play, and so I appreciate that, so thank you. Alrighty, back again, and for before I get into the gameplay here from World of Tanks guys who don't know what this is, Armored Warfare is a really fun game um, that allows you to fight in PvE and PvP battles. So whereas World of Tanks, random battles are the lowest tier, which is why my win rate's so low, because you're just with random people, and you're not really playing to compete, that mode here is called PvE, and instead of fighting other players, you just fight bots on a team of five. So it's very easy to manage team communications and very easy to win depending on what difficulty you choose. And as you can see, it's all very modern vehicles. And I have a couple of tier 10s in this game. My best being the T-14 Armada, Russia's newest main battle tank. And some of my favorite tier 1s you'll actually recognize from World of Tanks. Well, hold on, there's a tier 3 I'll recognize, it's brand new, if I can find it. Man, why is this taking so long to find? There it is. <laughs> the AMX-5100, which is the vehicle I was just fighting in my King Tiger captured, is here. The T-92 is here. The Sherman M-51, you know it as... Well, you actually... Yeah, you know this is the Sherman Revolurize in World of Tanks. The tier 10 M-48 Patton. Uh, we have a lot of Russian vehicles from World of Tanks over here. The M41 Bulldog, it's a tier 8. So yeah, this game's just really cool. Uh, the IS-7 tier 10 is a tier 3 here, or tier 4 now, they changed it. 
this is just a fun game. So I'm just going to play some game. And I don't really know what tier I want to go for yet, but it's some weird vehicles that you won't see in World of Tanks, because I know a lot of my World of Tanks viewers will be on right now. For my Armored Warfare guys, I hope you watched the M50 Ontos video I published earlier today, and I forgot to mention that the OA82 uses recoilless rifles on it. That's this right here. And for my World of Tanks guys, again, before I get into more gameplay, we have a lot of different classes here. From AFVs like this one to infantry fighting vehicles that come into the game as AFVs like the BMP1 series or like this vehicle. We also have the coveted Object 279 which may or may not be coming to World of Tanks at some point. So we have that. We just have a lot of cool vehicle options here. And so I'm going to try to play something unique that you guys haven't seen or don't have a vehicle equivalent in uh, World of Tanks. So yeah, this is just my Armored Warfare video intro. It really broke up the gameplay. Uh, I'm sorry about that. But let me pick out some cool vehicles and let's just get straight back into some gameplay. Alright. Entering Operation Watchdog in my C-13 TUA. And as you can see it's PvE so I'll be fighting bots. The problem that Armored Warfare has that World of Tanks doesn't is because of the PvE mode, even now that the server is one whole global server, it's almost impossible to fill up PvP games now. Not during massive traffic hours, which for the North American side of the server is roughly 10am to 3pm, so I missed it. And that's why I'm playing against bots, otherwise I would have showed you a PvP game. And for again, for anybody who's watching this from my World of Tanks crowd, still continue watching it. Thank you for watching the video this far because I know it's been pretty long. Uh, the C13 TUA is an improved to a wire guided optical missile, anti tank missile. And you'll recognize this tow launcher from things like the M113 Hammerhead, which was used in Operation Iraqi Freedom. This is the Italian version of it. And of course, you will not have any Black idea of what. Company, immediate assistance is needed in the city. Coordinates incoming. Hostiles are incoming. Cut them off and hold them yeah, back. Yeah, so every mission gets pulled into like that. It's something you've never seen in World of Tank, and you hope we hopefully never will. Because God, I don't know how we're going to balance them. Our ATGMs, guided missile ammunition. So instead of firing like a gun and waiting for. RNG spread, I actually decide where these hit. And so that miss that I just had on the tracks, that's all me. I assume you keep driving and the bot stop. All me. That's why I love playing guided missile vehicles, especially more than any other vehicle in Armored Warfare, just because I don't rely on an aim radical to determine where my rounds go. It's all determined by me. Now, that doesn't mean that they're like laser accurate. It is determined by how effective or what your effective range is. So once your missile goes for either too long or too far out, you'll stop being able to control it. But as you can see, you can fire two at a time. It's just, this whole experience is very different. It was so different from all the tanks when I got here. It was kind of ridiculous. And it has this cool little reload animation. And as you can see there, things like lamppost <laughs> you do detonate uh, anti-tank missiles prematurely, depending on what type of anti-tank missile. Since I'm playing at tier six, this is a very low, low type of missile. Target eliminated. It is doing crazy good damage. So I love this. Enemy game. destroyed. Two kills there. You'll also see that I'm doing a lot more damage and a lot more kills than I do in World of Tanks. Again, that's one because of bots, and two because everything's been changed in this game reflect the real world counterpart and so the missiles do about 8 to 900 damage which of course no will be astronomically high. But if you're looking for something new and something unique, I highly encourage you to come and play Armored Warfare. I love this game a lot and I love this vehicle a lot. This is one of the new French vehicles and I know it's weird but they do dealer trees here not by country but well, I meant tech trees. I got ahead of myself, but by dealers, armed dealers. So this game takes place in a future where there are no more militaries, just arms dealers selling tanks, and so the French arms dealer sells a couple of Italian vehicles, 
And so I will cons I will talk about this as being the French tank line and French vehicles. Uh, but this is Italian. And it's just it's different than all the tanks. But it's also kind of cool because it gives you the ability to play like two game strengths. So each line uses a different strength of the game mechanic. If you're more of a defensive player. Um, MBTs, you play one dealer over the other one, but it gives you the ability to explore vehicles from a bunch of different countries that play the same style. Identify so, target. whereas, and I'm lagging the pretty hard right now, and well, the tanks, you have British vehicles, and then you can do what I just said across, you know, like, British SPGs, British TDs, British Identify. tanks, British medium Awful. tanks. Here, it's kind of the same, only... You know, you'll have two AF. You'll have one main AFV line and then one main MBT line, and then it'll be like, well, do you like American MBTs more? Identify. American MBTs more. Also, PC. It's, just, it's just different. There's a lot of like things that don't carry over. They're not similar. They're both vehicle games, both vehicle quote-unquote simulation games, but uh, very different. To get out of heavy fire. And this is what bot battles kind of look like in this game. You'll have to either capture a point or defend a point. You're really supposed to be defending this point. But this onslaught of bots. And as you can see there, misfire on my part. That huge black spot right here, my missile ran into a wall. So I'm not even that great at this game. Like I said, I used to be a unit coming in this game. This vehicle is relatively new to me. I'm not even good at players. And uh, I still make mistakes. They were trying to oh, divide well. our forces and it worked! Get over there That's now, my motto. Oh, well. all is lost. But the stakes are pretty low in PvP battles, like PvE battles like this. The harder and higher tier modes of PvE are where things get competitive because you do make more money and you do make more experience and where teams really need to work together. And if you think working with a team and all the tanks, a team of 15 is hard, imagine how frustrating it is with a team of just five. It's been still getting it wrong. Also, as you can see there, you can pop smoke in this game, which is something I always forget when I go between Armored Warfare and World of Tanks, is I always try to pop smoke when you cross an open terrain, and I forget that you can. That's also a fun little heat. The other C-13 just did it. And, uh... I don't know, I just, it's a way easier game to play than all the things in my opinion. Not easier in terms of like, it's actually easier to play in skill. It's easier to play in feeling, like, you just feel better about playing. As you can see, I just completely missed that Identify. This one, which is for a thousand damage, nice. That's one of the more dangerous vehicles in the game. The big light set on the 57 it has a 57 millimeter auto cannon and two tow missiles. Well, one tow missile, otherwise it's two. Make it sound more dangerous for, for the appeal for my fans, like my World of Tanks fans, to be scared of. Target eliminated. <laughs> um. Yeah, I love armored warfare. It's fun, see. You know how fun this is. And guided missile vehicles. If you're always in like one of those. Threat destroyed. Tanks that seems to miss no matter what, like a Chinese tank or um, like the Russian heavies. This vehicle is a fresh, of fresh air because <laughs> got it misses. Very nice. And that's it. That's a whole game. That's what a game looks like uh, in Modern Warfare. So the next one will just be me, just not explaining it, but just playing it. But as I continue this Jaeger Plays series, I will be featuring Armored Warfare a lot more because I've been neglecting this game in favor of Arm um, in favor of World of Tanks, rather, sorry. Um, <laughs> just because I like World of Tanks so much. But most in experience, not most in damage. Almost, almost, by just a little bit, not most in destroyed vehicles. Uh, but that's a fun little game to play, and so I'm going to play probably another AFV vehicle for you or another missile vehicle and that'll be it for the video so uh, actually you know what I think I think we'll do this I think we'll play this vehicle we'll see alrighty 
This is the harder PVE mission. And I'm afraid the cartel has gotten their hands on the warehouse full of chemical warheads. Who knows where those things will show up if we don't take them away? Please take control of the warehouse quickly. There are also some missile launchers located in the area. It would be good to destroy the cartel's dangerous toys. So much the other videos I do, if you're still watching, anybody's still watching, uh, will not be just long so to explain it. See going off the little yellow eye. Identify target. Hostile tank. Is six seconds. Six seconds with a tank. Eye and every. Identified. Hostile tank. Good. Free tank. No tank. I'm getting a lot of spot in front of this. Although it makes me easier to spot. But look how crazy this tank looks. This is the AMX-13. Hopefully, we haven't found it yet, and players have wanted it in this game. We have no, believe it or not, AMX-13 vehicles in this game. Whereas we have so many of them, it wasn't there. Which is funny, because they were post-war vehicles to begin with. But that's neither here nor there. They are... Obviously, artillery is garbage. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding to all the artillery players out there. But Identify target! Boy, do I do target, lock on! You have to worry about Thank you. Black Company, the cartel is going to come after that warehouse. Hold on to that location. There's the warehouse. Clear out the defenders and capture the area. Yeah, this is gonna. That's is. Identify target. Hostile tank. Any AFD with auto operates pretty much. Light tank. Which is a good thing. It needs to be 
It's all ahead. Identify. Oh man, what a misplay on my part. So, as you can see, I just took 928 in damage from a single ATGM. And I don't know why it's locked on the screen. I don't know what that is. There I am. Uh, so yeah, the same way that ATGMs are devastating for players to use, it's equally devastating for a vehicle with no armor to get hit by one. And so there I am dead. And that wraps it up, actually, nicely. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you watched this far, please let me know in the comment section below if there's something you want to see more of. I'm going to keep making these videos just because I love having fun and I want to make videos about having fun, especially after realizing that a lot of guys out there would rather see somebody do poorly in a game and have fun than see people do just absolutely amazing. And that's what I'm here for. I have fun even though I do bad. I mean, I think in my captured King Tiger game, I only did 300 damage, believe it or not. And that's a pretty impressive heavy tank. That little damage is embarrassing, but I had a fun time doing it. So let me know if you want to see more of this. If you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see any more videos like this one in this series, or if you're going to be looking forward to my other reviews in World of Tanks or the World of Tank news, or if you're going to look into Armored Warfare news, and anything else just subscribe to the channel hit, you know get hit the little bell get notifications for when i upload videos it really helps with the channel i really appreciate the support and hopefully i will get to see more guys in world of tanks on the battlefield or in armored warfare on the battlefield and i hope i get to see or i get to convert some world of tanks players into armored warfare players hopefully you guys will come over and play this game with me but we'll see as always thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time